Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn how to use the spaceship operator in Ruby to write better code. Before we talk about exactly what the spaceship operator is, Let's see a code example so you can understand the context of the problem we are trying to solve with that operator. Right here I have some numbers. This is an array of numbers from 1 to 10. And then we have a target number. And our goal, what we want to accomplish here, is to split this array into two arrays where we have the numbers that are less than the target, so the numbers that are less than 5. And then we have another array where we have the numbers that are greater than the target, in this case greater than 5. So that's what we are trying to accomplish that here. There are many ways to do that, but I would like to do it in the most efficient most, um, we could say, compact way. So that's my array, and that's the target. Now, if we didn't know about the spaceship operator, which by the way looks like this, that's the spaceship operator. If we didn't know this exists, then we the only way we can do this is to use less than, greater than, and equals, or the other variants like this, right? These are, are the only operations, and this only return either true or false, right? So we can maybe write some kind of loop. Maybe we can do numbers of each, right? And then we can given the number, we can classify it into the correct group, into the correct bucket that we want. So how what, how can we do that? How do we do that? Using if statements, we can do if n is less than our target, then we put in, in the less than group, right? We will do something like that. And if n is greater than the target, then we put it in the greater than group. So that's one way to do it. We need to create the arrays like that, um, greater than, and um, if we run this, uh, we should be able to see the output. So look at here, this is the greater than, this is the numbers that are greater than the target. And then for the less than, uh, less print less than, these are the numbers that are less than the target. So if we just focus on these two, you can see that it's working, right? And that's all fine and good, but there is a better way to do this, and it doesn't require us to do to have this if statement. So what's that better way? Well, we can use partition maybe. How about the partition method? Let's try that. Partition. So the partition method that's what we want, right? It separates it splits up a list into two groups, into two buckets. In this case, we want less than and greater than. So let's tri try this, see what happens. So let's say n, n greater than 5. What do we get? Well, that seems to work, but not quite. Why? Because in the less than section, we get 5. So 5 is the number that we're looking for is our target, but we don't want it in the output because it's not less than itself, right? So these are the numbers that are less 
than the target, but it should not be included. Of course, we can go around this and try to remove it. Knowing that, we can remove it from this group. But there is an even better way, and here's where we introduce the spaceship operator. Let me show you. As I said before, the spaceship operator looks like that, and you can kind of tell why we call it that. It kind of looks like some kind of, some Star Wars spaceship or something like that. And what it does is it gives you three values. Let me show you. If we do five and five, we get zero. What does that mean? It means that this is equal. If I do four and five, we get minus one. This means that the value is less than the other value. And if I do six, we get one. So that's greater than. How is this useful? Well, it's this useful because this is exactly what we're looking for. Now we get three values from one operation. Where minus, um, where less than or equal can only give us one value. It can only give, give you true or false. So how can we use this? Well, let me show you. We can use the group by method. And then we have n. And then we're going to do n spaceship target. And I can remove this now. Let's see what happens. Ta da Now we get this hash. So group, group by gives you a hash. And in this hash, we have three groups. We have the less than group. I noticed that the five or target number is not included, and that's exactly what we want. Then we get our target number, it's equal to itself, right? So that's why it's on this zero group. And then on this one, this is the numbers that are greater than the target. We get the, this array of the numbers that are greater than the target. So now we have exactly what we were looking for to separate into less than and greater than. And this very, very nice, um, very easy to read code if you understand what this is doing. And hopefully you do now. Just as a quick review, this is called the spaceship operator. And it's used to, and it's used to compare two things. It returns three values, minus one to signify less than, zero to signify equals, and one to signify greater than. And this can be useful in situations like this, where you want to separate exactly into these groups. So that's it. That's the spaceship operator. Hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, please give me a like to this video. Click the like button. That will help me know that you like this content and I can keep making more videos like this. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because that also helps you get new videos when they come out. And you might want to click the notifications button. It's a little bell next to the, subscri next of the, to the subscription button. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in another video.